Hey guys, Attic Cyclist here with a video discussing the future of the brain on the uh, on the Epic bikes. So, I've been hearing twice now from two separate sources that Specialized is having staffing issues in servicing their bikes and specifically their brain forks. So think about all the Epics that have been basically out there on all these bikes. Um, and you know, they need service every year or every two years, depending upon the uh, model you have. And when you buy a high end bike like this, you know, unfortunately the, the costs just keep on, keep on compounding, right? It isn't a one and done type thing, uh, due to the amount of service this bike specifically requires. So the brain damper and the fork and then the rear shock do require between an annual or every two years service, depending upon your, your, your hours, uh, or your riding style. And um, so using mine as an example, you know, they've increased the service intervals for this bike. So for me, that puts me at about every two years to have the fork and shock serviced. But what I'm hearing is that I guess I don't know if COVID, uh, you know, caused issues with staffing, which it has with most companies uh, throughout the U.S. and throughout the world. But it sounds like they just can't keep up with the service volume of the uh, of the brain rebuilds. So obviously the previous um, frame, the 2017 to 20, had a lot of issues with the rear brain uh, ever since they switched to Rock Shock. So I mean the amount of warranty uh, issues they've probably addressed uh, were probably nowhere near uh, anticipated volume. And now obviously as they roll up more bikes, it's just more service that they have to accommodate for an, an, an offer. So I did hear that they only do a five year look back based on your, your frame. So that does limit, um, you know, uh, them touching the, the bike, uh, in this case, the fork and the shock again. Uh, there are some companies out there like Rissy Racing, and I think there's one more, I'll put the link in the description, where you can have your shocks rebuilt. Um, and they do, they do do brain shocks. Um, but what I'm hearing is they just won't be able to accommodate maybe future demand uh, because of personnel issues. Again, I don't know if this is true or not. It might be hearsay, it might just be chatter, uh, but I did hear uh, two versions of this from two two sources. So there, there has to be some merit to it. Uh, what Specialized will do about it, I'm not sure. Um, I did hear reports that they might ditch the brain. Uh, obviously they may you know, keep it at 100 and 100. You did see Jordan Saru running a 100-100 uh, Epic uh, using the, um, the linkage of the Epic Evo. Uh, while still running 100 millimeters front and rear with his Rock Shocks remotes, you know, so I don't know if maybe Specialized is going to go with something proprietary in terms of remotes, uh, if they're going to go with like a Rock Shock or a Fox system, who knows? I mean, again, this is all speculation, all chatter. There's been nothing confirmed, uh, but again, I did hear it twice in two different places, um, and they did not know each other, so I just found that very interesting uh, and something that I wanted to touch on. So obviously, the brain we all know is a love-hate relationship. Uh, it's a bike that's meant to be ridden fast and the brain works flawlessly. If you're just slugging around the trail, cruising around, it's definitely very finicky, uh, a little clunky. So, you know, in a day where you're just kind of chilling out, you know, what I'll do is I basically run the rear brain one, two clicks from firm, uh, which puts a quote maybe in the middle here. So it gets a nice balance. There's no clunkiness to it. Uh, the firmer you go, the more clunk there is, the more engagement there is. Uh, you can open it right up and literally will be like having no brain whatsoever. The uh, ports are fully exposed and you'll have full flow of that oil, uh, and obviously into the tube and into the yoke and into the shock. But, you know, it's going to be interesting to hear what Specialized does going forward. You know, the Epic Evo definitely gained a lot of traction. You know, if I were to do this again, I would probably still get this bike, but getting an Epic Evo has always intrigued me, but I would definitely run remotes on it, a three position remote from Fox. So I'd have that, that middle, you know, firm setting to uh, to maximize pedaling efficiency and climbing. You know, I did ride the Epic Evo and I, I did find that it definitely did not accelerate and it's nowhere near as snappy as having this bike. Um, but it could be a good compromise if you want to have something that can kind of do a little bit more, having a little bit more travel, uh, a little bit taller bottom bracket height, because I do uh, pedal strike a lot because this bottom bracket's nine millimeters lower than my 19. Um, and, I, and you can see here, I do run the brain typically one click off of fully open is a nice balance. Again, it's pretty firm on top. 
uh, and it allows a nice transition breakthrough point where really it's not noticeable. Medium setting is probably the max that I go uh, if I'm actually on the trails where again it's pretty firm, great great support when you're climbing out of the saddle, there's no pedal, but there's no bobbing of the suspension. Uh, but again, I do like a little bit softer breakthrough, so I do typically run it uh, one click off of fully open. I do run it fully open occasionally, but again, having that that setting here definitely gives you the option of having cool call five bikes in one. There's five clicks in front and the back. Uh, but I'm just curious to see if you heard anything as well, any any speculation, any chatter, feedback about what Specialized might do going forward. You know, will they continue the brain? Will they will they make revisions to it where you know it's not as uh, as much of a of, of a serviceable issue? Will they make the intervals longer? Will they swap back to Fox? Will they get rid of it entirely, going to a remote setup? Uh, what I would really like is to have maybe a shock that has maybe four or five clicks uh, and a remote to offer something that, that the market hasn't seen. You know, you got the Scott with the twin lock, you got the Orbea always with the squid lock, and you've got the Fox three position remote for their, um, for their, uh, yeah, you know, I guess for their shock system here. So they got an open mode. They've got the, that middle setting for like little trail mode, and then they've got obviously a fully lock for for out of the saddle efforts, maybe on some fire roads at a at a mass start at a race or at a sprint finish. But I'm just curious to see if anybody has has heard the same too. Uh, it'd be really interesting to see, you know, especially around the world, if anybody chimes in and feed, you know, gives some feedback as to of, uh, any updates that they might have have heard as well. So. Uh, just gonna be curious to see what they do in 2023 or 2024 going forward so if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments i would really appreciate you hit that subscribe button help support the channel helps grow the channel and uh thank you be well